those was every single one of them was against Charleston Southern. So, man, I, uh, I felt like we were down and we needed to go regroup in the locker room at halftime today. So, uh, but I, uh, I'm privileged to be here. I'm blessed to be at Charleston Southern University. I'm honored to represent the leadership at Charleston Southern University, Dr. Jerry Hunter, Dr. Rick Brewer, our Vice President for Student Affairs and Athletics, at our table over here, our Athletic Director, Hank Small, my wife sitting next to him, Kimberly Mills, David Jackson, as you met already before, very proud of David, the local product from the Charleston area, who came into our program as a safety in high school, has become a linebacker, he's a student athlete, advisory committee representative, as well as being one of the leaders on our team on the field and off the field. Jeff Hartzell's here, representing the Post and Courier as well, too, and Blake Freeling looks like he got up. Is Blake still in here? There he is, okay. Blake Freeling uh, is our sports information director, does a tremendous job along the way and got the uh, media guides in under the wire that came in today and so they're outside there and it's all because of his hard work and dedication. Uh, I feel blessed because of the, uh, the things that have been accomplished already by this year's team. We haven't even gotten to the se season yet and we talked to the young man about the leadership uh, along the way. This team this past spring for the second consecutive year was awarded the uh, Community Service Award for the athletic department at Charleston Southern University. This team this past semester got the highest team GPA uh, in the history of them calculating the team GPA for a semester at Charleston Southern University, and that's for football. Um, they also, uh, uh, we're in the process of continuing to work together on the field and off the field, raising funds. This team set a record for the most funds that was ever brought in this past year for Charleston Southern University football and led the athletic department in that area as well too. You've heard about Jordan Lancaster already. I would also offer up uh, Andrew McCain, who was awarded the, C the Hunter Cup, which goes to the senior athlete at Charleston Southern University that best exemplifies what we want all our athletes to exemplify. And that's the second time in three years a football person has represented that award. The senior male uh, Christian, or I should say the male Christian athlete award that was handed out this spring on our campus went to uh, Tyrese Harris as well, too. Uh, so we feel like we've had a tremendous year already in the things that have been accomplished. And I credit an awful lot of that to the leadership, the leadership of our coaching staff. We have a tremendous football coaching staff. I'm privileged to be around these men uh, sometimes morning, noon, and night. And they are the type that you'd want to have leading your sons along the way. Uh, I also credit it to our seniors, David, and the senior class. Uh, we're very excited about this coming year. We have about... 20, I believe it is, seniors returning, which I think is the largest number of seniors we've had since I've been at Charleston Southern University. And every single one of them has been selfless in the things that they've done. And again, it provided some great role models on the field and off the field too. And so we're excited about our team and our squad too, how hard they've been working and the things that they've been doing. So we put winning at an emphasis and a priority. And I know like these men here who I have great uh, rapport with and respect for, uh, we also emphasize the things off the field as well, too. So while well, we're all striving for that championship this coming fall and, and striving for that automatic bid that we've been talking about and pulling for for such an extended period of time, I'm also glad that we're part of a group and a collection and a conference that believes that there's successes on the field and there's victories off the field as well, too. And I think that's what's elevated the focus of the Big South Conference, the play of the individuals. The football just continues to get better and better but what they do off the field as well, too. I want to finally uh, conclude by congratulating the young men that are representing their team and teammates here. We have uh, an absolute respect for them as well, too, and, and we look forward to seeing each and every person as we uh, go through the course of this fall. Thank you for your time, and thank you for your support to the media as well, too.